To format the text within your worksheet, it's really simplistic. And the reason why you want to do it is to make it pop out, make it look more organized. For example, the title of this worksheet, or rather the database here, is camping gear. I mean, that pops out and that tells me, hey, that's the focus of what we're working on here is camping gear. I could put sales of camping gear in the U.S., but that's good enough for me right now. And if you want to go ahead and make others pop out, like the months here for the labels on the columns and the labels for the rows, go ahead and click and drag to select it. And then hold down the control key to click and drag to select the row labels. And then you can format this one of a few ways. Either come up here on the Home tab to the font group and make it bold. That's nice. Or you can right click on the selection and in the mini formatting toolbar up at the top you can deselect B for bold. Or you can come up here on the Home tab to the font group and click its expandable dialog box button. And it opens up the format cells window and you're on the font tab. So you can change it to a different type of font. Make it bold here if you like, even a different font size. Let's do that, bold, and say OK. See how it looks? OK, that's a little bit too much for me. So if you don't have the undo option and you don't want to find out what format's been applied to it so you can deselect it, like OK, I need to deselect bold, but also change it from 12 back to 10. If you've got a lot of formatting applied to it, probably the best way is to clear the formatting. You can do that by coming up here on the Home tab to the Editing group, and you get the eraser, click on the drop down arrow, and say for the selection you just want to clear all formats. Click on it, we're back to where we started. Now if you want to select the entire worksheet so you can update all the text, including the numbers, to a different type of font or make it bold italics, you can do it one of a few ways. You can either come up here and in between the column header A and the row header 1, that little blank square there, click on it and it selects the entire worksheet then you can come up here and do B for bold okay it unbolds whatever is bold but when you click on B for bold it bolds everything let me hit undo because I want to go back to just the title of the database camping gear in bold or you can go ahead and click off in a blank area and do control A it does the same thing now I say to click off in a blank area because if you're in within one of the mini databases here that has adjacent cells that are filled in if you do control A hey guess what we just learned how to go ahead and select a range that has adjacent cells so like if I do control A for the labels there for each column, fabulous. And if I do it for this mini database, control A, great, that one, control A, hey, it knows what it's doing, nice. I'll give you one more little tidbit here that you may find helpful. Let me click and drag and select range. You can go ahead and right click on the selection and go down to format cells. It brings up the format cells window on the font tab. You can do it that way or come up here on the home tab to the cells group, click on the format drop down arrow go down to format cells brings up the same window so we've got the font tab but you also have other tabs you can format not just the text but actually the border of the cell you can fill in the cell we'll talk about protection later or we can do alignment so for example if we want to go ahead and change the alignment to go up to maybe well if it's 54 degrees and you're trying to get 45 exactly you can't quite do it with clicking and dragging you can of course come in here and type it in and then click OK and yeah, that's kind of cool. Or with it selected, you can come up here on the Home tab to the Alignment group, and it's right there as well. Orientation, click on the drop down arrow. You can angle it clockwise, rotate the text up. Ooh, that's kind of kooky. Or you can click on the drop down arrow and format the cell alignment. It takes you right to the Format Cells window, but on the Alignment tab. And then you can come over here and type in zero, hit Enter on the keyboard, and we're back to where we started. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.